In other news tonight, the debate continues over whether COVID actually leaked from a lab in China. And even if that's not the case, labs around the world are evaluating safety protocols. Courtney Friedman got a rare look inside of the safety at the protocols, safety protocols at Texas Biomedical Research Institute, where studies and uh, which studies some of the most dangerous diseases in the world. Research labs have four levels of biosafety, four being maximum containment, housing deadly agents like Ebola, Marburg, and Nipah virus. Level three labs contain tuberculosis, equine encephalitis virus, and the SARS-CoV viruses that cause COVID-19. Level two contain viruses like Zika. Texas Biomedical Research Institute in San Antonio has all of those levels. Our role here is to make sure we don't contaminate the environment. We don't uh, bring let anything out of our facilities while we do this very important research um, to make sure that we find a cure, find a vaccine. Dr. Zhang Ming Wang, who also goes by Anthony, is in charge of all safety protocols at Texas Biomed, a serious job that starts with training, sometimes taking people years to work up through the lab levels. Part of that involves personal protective equipment, or PPE. I am wearing PPE for a level three lab right now. That includes this air purifying system, which then travels up through that hose into this mask, which keeps contaminants from getting in. In level four labs, you need 100% separation between the scientist and the pathogen, meaning positive pressure suits that need to be checked every single time they're worn. Making sure they check every nook and cranny, making sure there's no holes and, and any compromise of the suit. The lab equipment is also designed to keep dangerous particles away, like this biosafety cabinet where most work is done. Um, so the goal is to make sure you minimize your movement. Here in the training lab, Wong brought an instrument generating smoke to simulate how the machine keeps yeah, particles from already. moving through the air. There we go. See how quickly it clears? Those cabinets contain two enormous filters. Multiple layers. Um, and you can see how deep it is. We use this as our training to show people what the filter looks like. All these protocols allow researchers to push the boundaries of science while keeping their community safe. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.